feet on the floor. First we chunk it, stopping after each feet. Here we go. Separate slur beat. Wait. Ready, go. Ready, go. Ready, go. Ready, go. Ready, go. Ready, go. Pattern three. Repeat. Ready, E. Ready, go. Ready, go. Ready, go. Ready, go. Ready, high three. Or A. So just A to finish. Here we go. Practice that five times. Once you can do that five times, then you can move on to this. One and two and ready. Here we go now. Ready, go. Ready, go. five times then you're ready to move on to that was chunking each measure then two measures with stops like this one two ready here it is when you repeat. One, two, ready, here we go. in the middle let's go ahead and I'll play for you out of the book Suzuki book three dun, 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 dun. where is it is this one it Here. so this is our Gavotte in D major here it is number six page 20 and your assignment starts in measure 10. It sounds like this. It's really important you use your fourth finger so that you don't have a big jump. That's too big to cross two strings. We're gonna use our fourth finger. Ready, try it, four. Fourth finger. 
sharp. Okay, that's it. Let's do it four more times. Here we go. Ready, go. We're just gonna pizzicato it. Put the bow down, ready? One, two, pizzicato go. Oh, sorry, it, it's on the A string. Ready, here it is. That's hard. <laughs> Fourth finger, and. Perfect, okay, here we go with the bow again. One, two, here we go. Let's just practice this part. It starts on a C and measure 12. Find the C and measure 12. C. It starts up both. So find the C and we're just going to do this part. Let's try that. From the C, up bow, go. Ooh. Here we go. Ready, C. Okay. So if you need to, you can break that apart. Do a little bit less. You can always do a small part like this part. That's good to practice just that without the trill. And then maybe just this much. Remember, it starts with a three. Three, two. So I would break this maybe into three parts. I would do this part. And I'd repeat that five times. Then I'd do this part. And I'd practice that five times. Then I would do this part. this or that's fine if you want to do a lot but I think just probably two or three times is good da dee da dee da dee da that's three times it's fine okay so next week I want to hear that part let's try now let's go back to the other book and try the arpeggio or uh, try the thirds I'm not going to break them down for you but I'll recommend that you practice first stopping between every beat and then stopping between every two then stopping between every or yeah stopping between every four notes then stopping eight notes then 16 and then the whole thing and then and then do the whole thing but here's how the whole thing would sound that I'm not going to record that for you because it's on my phone and I'm recording on my phone now so try the third on your own with that bowing and see if you can use the same strategy four notes and then stop then once you can do all the way through four notes then you can move on to eight 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 notes and then stop so putting those rests or chunking it into parts is really helpful when you're first learning so you give yourself some time to think about it in between Okay, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for being a great student and I'll see you next week.